I'm gonna show you how to make these crosses, the necklace crosses, macrame, macrame. They're uh, made out of two millimeter cotton rope. You need a uh, scissors, two millimeter cotton cord or rope, uh, six millimeter beads, uh, paper clip, pliers, piece of cardboard for the glue and a thing for mixing the gorilla glue the epoxy two and a half feet of macrame rope you gotta cut it and you get you could do one color or two colors I'm gonna do two colors because it's easier. And just match them up and get them the right size. The same size. And then you get it at about halfway mark. Are you still recording it going? Halfway mark, you hold it up like that. And you fold it over. You make two half loops like that and then you fold it in the middle and you got to do like a over under over the orange over this over this orange under this orange and I'm gonna lick it and it's easier then you grab the other black you hold them together it's like two half loops like I said and then you go over this one under that one and you just pull them And it should look like that and then you get it as tight as possible every time you do this we're gonna do it a bunch of times and then we just use your you put this black one or either color but it doesn't matter and then, um, you get the you see how there's one right there and one right there and there's like a left and a right you you put the one of them over your finger the other one over your finger it's two half loops again and then it's on left or right on this side too uh, I think it's on the left because um it has to go over and then under so I'm putting it over and under and you can't get this one even though it's on the right you got to move it towards the left Because this one has to go on the right side. And then you go over and under. Over that one, under that one. And then it should be good. And you just pull on them. You tighten them down. You keep pulling on one of them, it's easier that way. I'm holding the middle. Pull it as tight as possible. I just keep doing that for like, I don't know, maybe eight times. And you just over in the two half loops again.
This one ended up on the right side over here. So it's going to go over and under. This one's on the right side too, on the opposite side. And it's gonna go over. You can't let this thing go that way. It has to stay on this side. So it's gonna go over here, under there. There should be another one made, another knot. And then next we're gonna put the paper clip so I could have it make it sturdy. You could do it with either hand. I'm pulling with the left hand this time. I'm pulling with the right hand. And then that's how it should look. And I'll put a, a paper clip in there. It's gonna the paper clip is right over here. Where is it? There it is. Get the paper clip. Where's the paper clip? Paper clip. And you just break off the thing with the pliers, the end where you want a straight paper clip. Okay, and then you get the paper clip and you put it right in the middle of the colors. Don't poke yourself. Try to get it in there. And then it's similar to the other way I was showing you. Where you just go over right there. It's kind of like folding a box. We'll see. And then you bring this one over on this side. And then you bring this one over. It's over and under, that's all you gotta remember. You pull this the first one out. And you put it through. And just pull on them. And then once you start getting it going, the safety, I mean the paper clip, what's called, um, will just hold itself in there. Try to pull it as tight as possible and don't poke yourself. And just keep going. And this one ended up on this side. Well, you just do it over there. Over there. And don't mix up the two black ones for whatever color you got. And then I'll make sure it goes over. And pull out the first one. And put it through. Pull it real tight. If you want to make it smaller, it's got to be tight. It looks good better when it's tighter. So 
So the paper clip's already holding in there now. This would be good for the top of the the cross, but I'm doing the bottom of the cross, so I have to do more knots. We ended up on this side, and then um, just keep going. Pull out back on the first one. And we should have another knot. I tighten them all the way, maybe a little more. All right. I'm gonna just keep going. Start on this side. Pull back on the first one. And then put this one through. Came out pretty tight. Look at how it's coming out. See the weaves? Just keep going until you think it's the size of the bottom of the cross or the top of the cross. I think this is better on the top of the cross. You got to put it, start off with a, a necklace part. So this is has to be the bottom of the cross if I'm if you're doing it like me. All right, looks good. Um, I should keep going, make it longer.
I'm gonna do one more knot. I found this on rope on eBay. It's 100 meters, which is 300 feet for 10 bucks. It's two millimeter. They got all the colors. That's probably long enough for the bottom. We gotta do the same thing for the top, but we gotta put a a necklace thing through it. It's a little bit hard. Hopefully, I don't have trouble with it. All right, turn it off for now. All right, get two and a half feet more of each color, or if you're using the same color, use the same color. I didn't really measure it. Well, I think it's two and a half feet. You gotta keep them equal. Well, I just put it all the way even with the other one. And they don't have to be perfect, but you're gonna have to grab it in the middle and have them close to the right size. And you gotta choose what color you want for the necklace. I think it's gonna be a I would say just get another two and a half feet or measure it around your neck. I'm gonna use black. And then grab the two first colors and put the necklace to the side for a second. And then make the two half loops. And then um, you gotta put it over and under again. And this is the hardest part of the whole thing. And you, you gotta put it through over this one under this one and it looks like it's gonna come out right and then you get the necklace part And you put it through the a little cross. The it's a like an X shape. The two colors. Then you grab the other four. comes out right yeah it's gonna come out right You saw I pulled it earlier. What's it called? That's the necklace part that's for the back.
And then, um, let's see, just pull on it again to make sure it's the right one. It slides through. And you want to get it halfway and halfway. And just make a, a knot so you can get it out of the way so it's not confusing. Then you pull on one side and hold the knot. Pull on the other side, hold the knot. Pull on this one and hold the knot. Pull on this one, hold the knot. All right. It's kind of a small necklace. I should have made it larger. I should have put it around my neck. So we grab these four and we start weave, weaving it. Same process, you just put one over the hand, then you put over the finger, over the finger, and like I was saying earlier, this one's on the left on this side, that one's on the left on that side, I think I said it wrong earlier, but there's left and then left, but later on it'll be right and right, I think, and then you just go over this one under this one keep it on the left like it's on the left and then you can pull on this to make it easier and it's over that one under this one and just pull on them this one's going to be shorter than that one show that one it's going to be shorter than that one because it's the top. And the arms are going to be about equal to the top or if you want to make them longer than the top, it's okay. It should look like that. And don't worry about the necklace part right now. No, it just stays there. Like I said, the necklace part, you could pull on it and it'll go from side to side. You just go back to these four. And see now it's on the right side and over here on the right side, instead of the left and the left, you could do black or orange, doesn't matter. So this time we'll just do the black and then we put this over the hand. And then we put it over the fingers, finger. Over and under. Over this one, under that one. Just pull on them. Try to keep them close together so it's easier to see. Keep it real tight like I was saying. Okay. 
Okay. Just keep going. Put one over the hand. Over the finger. This one's on the left side. This one's on the left side. So, over the finger. Over the finger. Alright, over, under. And over, under. Okay. It's about that long right now. Um, you gotta measure it to the, the the paper clip. That might be long enough. And see how it's gonna look. One of the two black sides on the same side, most likely. So I think it's good. And then just grab a bead, a six millimeter bead. It works with a two millimeter rope. And then let's see. Or just put the hole through the the paper clip. And this. Make sure you have the necklace on the top. And then the four on the bottom. And then just put it through the center. You gotta like wiggle it in there. Keep the two black sides together and then let's see. You grab the four and then you get the other four. Okay. And you just do the same thing with them um, as we were doing. But you don't want to get them wrong. So, let's see. You have to choose the color that's going to match with the side you're going on. Looks like. We're going to have to get these right here. Oh, where'd the bead go? Let's see. Put the bead back on another bead. Okay. 
Okay, like that. So then throw this one that side. Put this over the finger, over the finger. Then um, go over under again. And don't ever let this thing go over here. Oh, that's the stay over there. And then over under. Just pull on it. And it looks like that. Wait a you know what? Um we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm making it right. Because this orange is gonna be matched with this on both sides. And you gotta tighten it as much as possible. But right here on the one that on the arms, you don't get to tighten it as much as the these ones but you can if you're good i guess we'll just try to tighten it as much as possible at least on the first one and it starts getting tighter okay and then just keep going over the finger Then over under. This one over under. Pull it as tight as possible. And keep going. Over under. Don't get it caught on that. Okay. You can see how it's looking. That's one arm. There's a necklace on the top up here. The arm's coming out. I'm gonna start on the other side so it can be secure. You don't have to though. And then um let's see.
So you want the orange one in the middle, like the like the middle of the cross, all of the middle. So you wouldn't throw this one like that and that one like that. So just make sure you put the orange or the other color that you're using over the finger. And if it falls up down, it doesn't matter, just as long as it goes over that one and under this one. And this one over that, that one and under this one. Like I said, this one's not as tight as the rest of them. But it's the one that, it's the first one on the arms. Or the second arm, I guess. I'm not that tight on that one, you can see it. But I'm gonna continue. Pull it tight on each one of them. I'm going to make the arms about as long as the, the head. So, let's see, it, it has like... I guess this one would be considered one, two, maybe almost a third knot. So that's one. That's kind of diagonal. Maybe we'll go another one on the other one. So we'll switch sides. And then try to complete this thing across. When that one jumped over that, you can't have that. Right. Or me, I can't have that. So over, under. Oh, let's see. What's going on here? I guess this one's... No, I did it wrong. This one has to go on the other side. It has to go over this one under that one. So 
see how it has that. It's over it, the loose one and then under the one that's tight down. And same thing on the other side. This one's a loose one. This one's tight down on this side. Not pretty good. Well, that's probably the long. I might the the arm. I might be a little longer if I go home or not. So I could leave it there or not. But I actually put glue right here, so it could hold it down and it won't unwind. Cause the uh, it's not like a perfect. It's not a strong knot. It's a uh, more like a weave. So I'm gonna do a few on the other side. And then we'll put the glue on. Alright, the one that's tied down over that one under the other. No, wait, it's opposite. That one's tied down, so it's over this side, under that side. The one that's tied down is over here. Over, under. No, they're not. Okay, so that's how it's coming out. And then we gotta put the glue and then cut it. Now there's one last thing I forgot is the the toenail clippers. No, let me go get them real quick. You wanna I got the toenail clippers. But I noticed a mistake. I on the necklace part I put it the wrong direction. So when you make the top part, you have to 
put it the other direction. And that's very hard to do, but um, hopefully most of you could get it right. I did it right on the other two I showed you. So let me continue. I'm gonna get the glue. There's my cardboard. There's my glue. And here's my stick for mixing the glue. This is epoxy. It takes two different types of chemicals to make the glue. It's supposed to be the strongest glue available. Alright, it's kind of Gorilla Glue has two sides, so you have to push on one side and the other side separately or together, but they have to be equally mixed. So that's the right side. I'm putting a little bit on the right side and, and there's a little bit on the left side. The same amount from each side. And that's equal on both of them right there, so it's good. Alright, that's enough. And then let me put this down and then just mix it up. Mix it up equally. And then just put the glue right here. Put it on each color. And put it on a little bit of the rope that's sticking out so it can go when it goes to the other side it'll have glue too. You don't want glue showing on it that much so try not to put too much glue. This is quite a bit of glue I don't usually put so much. But I'm sorry the necklace came out wrong. Hopefully somebody watches it and can do it right. So just put this over the hand. Over the finger. Over the finger. One last knot with the glue. Over under. Over under. Okay. Alright, just pull on it. Pull on it. One last knot for this side I meant. Pull it as tight as possible. This one has to be the tightest probably. And with the glue it should hold. Alright, and then just get the scissors. Don't cut the necklace if you're making the necklace. Well, you know I messed up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just cut them. And then cut it as close as possible. Do the other side with glue. Right 
there's the glue right there. all four colors a little bit on each rope for when it folds over on the other side You gotta do the epoxy quick. You gotta work with the epoxy quick. It dries like in five minutes. I think so. But a full cure is 24 hours, I think. Alright. We'll put this one over the hand, over the finger. Over the finger. Oh, I touched the glue, I shouldn't have did that. Over, under. as tight as possible I usually don't cut the the four strings until the next day until the glue is dry but well, today I'm trying to get it done so you can see it Well, that's pretty tight. I'm gonna wipe off my hands real quick. Just cut the four strings, four ropes. these out of the way all right and then cut them closer And then get the you know, toenail clippers and just clip it as close as possible. Like I said, it unwinds if you don't put the glue and if it keeps bumping stuff. So hopefully none of you have that problem. Try not to pull on it too much. Just 
clip it. I actually don't pull on it at all, I don't think. That side came out pretty good. Now let's get the other side. The necklace part, I don't think I can fix it. Right, put it too tight on the leaves. And that's the way it's supposed to be made anyways. But the necklace is messed up. I wanted it to be a necklace. <laughs> well, that's how it came out, but the necklace is wrong. about it. No, I'll probably just cut off the necklace. You think I should cut off the necklace? One? No? Mm -hmm. Well, the necklace it needs to be the other direction. I don't know what I could do. Maybe I could twist it and twist. put a knot on top or something. Maybe twist tight, yeah, so it comes out the, another direction. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, that's the end of the video. That's how you make them. With the necklace part came out wrong. Yeah, make them for all their your family and friends, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Turn it off. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. So the problem that I had, what's it called, was it was not like a necklace. If you put it horizontal or whatever direction it is, it's better. But you could do it like what I'm gonna do right here. If you mess up. It's like the knot I made earlier, you just pull on each side, hold the knot. Okay, well, let me trim it. I already cut the rope for the size of my necklace. Just put it through. Just tie a knot. On each one of them, holding that. And trim it here if you want. Hopefully, the knot holds. I think it will. There it is, but. Like I told you, I should have put this thing backwards, I mean, the other direction. Now it's side to side. Okay, turn it off. Okay.